You guys don't have to get super psyched before you do your YouTube videos. You can't tell me to just throw up a camera and just start recording. You have to practice this stuff. Go over, pace back and forth a few times and change my lines. Whatever. What's going on YouTube? Baker Man coming at you today. I want to do a little bit of a review slash install on a new product I got, but those, yes. As a matter of fact, those those are peeps. I love peeps, man. Don't judge me. What? My mom got me those. Don't judge me. All right, so on to the review of the product I wanted to do. Uh, basically, I got this AB Arms Carbine Link. Mod 1 handguard. Real simple. Seen it on YouTube. Found it on the website. Um, let's see. abarms.com. It's like $39.99 plus another $10 shipping. Found it on Amazon through Prime. Prime Rocks. Uh, it was $29.99 with free two-day shipping. So, got it in the mail. Got it shipped to the house. Seems to be a pretty good quality product. Let's see here. Trash. Oh, look at this. It's R2D2, man. It's awesome. As you can see, I got Chewbacca back here in the back on the uh, old gun rack. I'm a Star Wars fanatic. So this product here is shipped with a decal, American Built Arms Company. I always love stickers. Stickers are awesome. Let's see here. It comes rubber band. Nothing real special about it. Ooh, separates the top and bottom. All the hand guards I'm used to uh, are on the side, I guess. Anyway, otherwise, I regress. What I was looking for in a hand guard was I'm looking for something cheap yet simple. The rifle that I'm using this on is right back here, this 223. It is a Bushmaster stock, just like bought from the store. Nothing special, it comes with the uh, carbine length regular handguard on it. It's got a fixed upper. Look, man, you guys are making me have a brain fart. It's got a fixed carry handle on it. Six position, extendable stock completely stop just like they ship it out from the factory so I want to add a little something on it this isn't like a high budget build this is real simple as you can see right here it's got a uh, metal piece on the top and bottom it just helps with dissipating heat the cool thing I like about it is it has these slots in it that would I uh, guess they say it helps with heat dissipation but you can actually take the uh, Magpul Picatinny rails and attach to it. So if you want to add a light or a laser onto the side of it, it's even got one here on the bottom so that you can add a vertical forehand grip on it, which is pretty cool for all you guys who like that stuff. The main reason why I wanted this is because the contour of it right here allows you to perfectly put your hand in here and it still gives you a little backstop versus just a round grip right here. More peeps. All right, so safety check, of course. We are completely unloaded. Absolutely nothing in it. I shouldn't have to do that on a YouTube video. You guys should already know that we are the top of safety standards. No magazine, nothing in the chamber. It's clear. Same thing as every other YouTube video. So basically what I wanted is this standard hand guard that comes on it has absolutely no purchase on it. Your hand wants to slide whenever you're shooting, etc. Blah, blah, blah. Not really looking for a vertical foregrip on this particular gun. Wanted something easy, simple, quick. So didn't want to spend money on an angle foregrip either. I'm cheap. Because then that would mean buying a hand guard and an angle foregrip or a vertical foregrip for that matter. 
Long story short, I don't like a lot of Picatinny rails because it always cuts up your hand. Uh, this is a cheaper rifle. Didn't want to spend a lot of money on a free floating guard with the option of key mod, etc. A whole bunch of stuff. Don't feel like going through it right now. Um, let me get this camera angle adjusted so I can show how this installs. It's pretty simple. All right, so obviously if you're watching this, you pretty much know how to work an AR, but you want to pull your delta ring back and let's see if I can get this without my tool because I don't feel like going and getting it. Ah. Delta ring comes back. Bottom. Oh, that moved the camera. Top. Real simple. Now you've got a completely bare barrel with your gas tube. Take your new hand guard. Make sure that it is not upside down. Stick that in the back pocket. You'll want to feed it in from the top. Pull your delta ring back down and lay it in there. If I can get it. Oh, this little booger is not. There we go. Got the bottom, and real simple, make sure you got it at the proper angle. If I can figure this out. See, the problem that makes this so difficult is it has these little retainer pins in it, right here, that have to fit down in the depressions in the bottom. So I'm kind of wondering if maybe I should have installed the top one first. Oh, I would really love my armorer's tool for my AR right now. <clears throat> Let's try the top one first. Sorry if I didn't get a lot of this on video. I'm trying here. This is proving to be a dookie buster here. There we go. Got that top one on pretty good. Now let's see if we can get the bottom one. There we go, got it all much better. All right, so now I believe this looks 100% better. It's got almost that Magpul look to it, which I guess is really what it was aiming to do. Everything clips together, it has retention. That rattle you're hearing is actually in the butt stock, hold on. Well, I don't know. It's not in the hand guard, I can promise you that. I'm not sure where it's coming from at this moment. I think it's from the uh, retractable, blah, 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 retractable buttstock here. Either way, this is a really solid setup, you guys. It's got a lot wider grip than that stock one did. Also, it's got this little divot in it here for purchase so the gun doesn't slide back whenever you're holding it. I find it to be perfect for what I need, at least in this application. I believe from here I may add a uh, flashlight on the bottom so that all I have to do is reach up and hit it. Not for sure how exactly I want to do that or up here so I can just activate it with the uh, thumb. Either way, it's a really solid setup. ABArms.com. Go check them out, you guys. Like I said, this was a simple $40 purchase. May not be cheaper than Magpul, but it's really good quality. It's got the Magpul look to it, as you can see. 
You can also attach the uh, Magpul Picatinny rails to it. Any length you want, you can go all four sections, two, one, doesn't matter. Add what you like. As you can see, it's got also smaller ones at the side and also a slot at the bottom where you can just go ahead and straight add a vertical foregrip or you can add a small Picatinny rail to the bottom or you can just leave it all open and leave it like it is. So now that you've seen how this thing installs, seen what it looks like, packaging, etc., you can go over to one of my friends, William Wound. He's got the Wound channel on YouTube. He's going to do a review on this as far as in the field actually using it. So go check out his channel. I'll put a link in the description below to his channel. Also, I'll put one to the video. In the meantime, I've got this YouTube channel up on social media. So if you go right here, or right here, yeah, or at the bottom, you can check out all my social media sites related to this YouTube channel. Anyways, until next time, guys, peace out. Oh yeah, if any of you guys have a really good double to single point sling that you wouldn't mind donating, please hit me up because right now all I've got is this cheap um, Black Hawk Universal, which I really hate. So I'm cheap anyway. I don't like spending money, which is why I got this AB Arms instead of a Magpul. Sort of. I like it though. Anyways, peace out.